What's up, guys? Jamal from Jamal Pickup. I'm here today with uh, one of my friends from Europe. Um, we just wanted to go over what he's learned from me in the past. Um, what do you? What is your current count? Do you know? I, I'm not exactly, but it's somewhere between 200 and 250. Okay. Somewhere between that. So and yeah, so 200 plus. I think I'm not 100. And you're what? 29. 27. 27. 27. Not too long ago. All right. Yeah, I actually got into the game when I was about 27. That was six. six so I guess 64. it's still hard for me. 64 counts. <laughs> and I am uh, 10 away now from the thousand. So it's, yeah, we're in the final stretch. Um, so yeah, do you want to talk about? You went through my product. Do you want to talk about the the key things you realized or learned yeah. or noticed and shit? Yeah. So I I when I first like saw your shit, I was already pretty deep into it. And I already had at least a hundred. Um, I don't remember exactly when, when I started for shit, but I, I think I had like a hundred, 150 maybe. So, but I've had a, I like been relationships and stuff since then. So it's been, been a little while. Um, and one thing that really stuck out with me was how applicable it was. It wasn't like woo woo shit. It wasn't like, Oh, just being state and fix your childhood traumas and all that <laughs> all that shit it was just social like, oh, prime oh i'm gonna i'm gonna make a blast video on social prime soon yeah not not like for the sake of blasting or being jealous or anything like that it's gonna be a pretty objective uh yeah deconstructive yeah. uh deductive logical set of arguments that yeah. it's gonna totally destroy their whole yeah, I don't know. I don't know too much about social problems, but I don't know. yeah, but it's. It, I like that it was more practical. It was very, very, very much geared towards. It was all the advice he gave on like the forums and shit. But very much, oh, just say this shit and do this shit. And a lot of it was also because I've already met people that I consider some of the best people that I've ever met, and they have met you before and said, oh, this guy's the best. So that's kind of why I, I, I kind of bought into it. And <laughs> they're like, oh, yeah, you got to be J-Mole. He's fucking, he's fucking best. And then they were some of the best that I met, so obviously. And then um, then I, I, I got your product. And uh, I don't know, man. It's just, very, it's just so fucking practical. It just works. It's just practical shit that just works. You, you give an opener that's really well. It's just the back door, like back pocket of opener. You just use it in any situation. You can go up, you can be confident, and just just use it, and it always works, almost every time. Yeah, the problem right. the problem with most picket material is that it's too abstract, or it's too um, non practical, or it's too like stuck in the theory department, or like ooh or whatever. And, and yeah. you kind of hear it, and you're like, okay, you don't really know how that's going to impact your next interaction or your next night out. Yeah, and it also doesn't really give you any sort of priorities or, or game plan or sequence of. Our system, and it's also not that relevant. Like people get caught up, like, oh, I gotta be, I gotta get social freedom before I can pick up. So I gotta go lay down on the street and just do push-ups on the street, <laughs> or just walk down the street with a dildo on my head or some bullshit like that, just to push their boundaries. When it doesn't, it's not really that applicable. Like I can see where the logic comes from. I can see what they mean that you, oh, if you're if you're not embarrassed by this, you'll be really unreactive when you talk to girls, but it's, it's not really transferable necessarily. <laughs> so I like that about your shit. It's very just like, oh, just your inner game is very short and concise, concise and to the point. And uh, it's not, it's, it doesn't really dwell on inner game. Cause you know, like some, some people obviously are completely fucked in the head and they're <laughs> gonna be super depressed and shit, but that's, they don't need game advice. They need a psychologist. They need, they need help. In different areas, and then or, maybe they can focus on. Game. Or a few twenty-two-year-olds masquerading as psychologists and social brand. Yeah, or a time travel, and they can remember <laughs> their traumatic experience from when they were, were like a baby or before they were born, even as they claim. Um, yeah, and then you just you just have great. Uh, you have an opener to use, use, and then there's you have these scripts that that you you look at them first, like this is simple shit this is like mystery method level shit and then you try it and it just works because it's not it's not gamey it's not weird it's normal uh no one really thinks it's like no one looks at you weird when you it's like if you if you look at old school mystery shit um like back in the day it was mystery and the game was was big um they told you to use all these 
gambits and games and the cube and all this hypnosis bullshit. The cube actually uh, worked. Uh, huh? <laughs> the cube worked pretty well. Yeah, it did it. I have, I have a, one of my close friends who used the cube on, on a date and he's married to the girl now. Yeah, but he probably would have been married even if he didn't use the cube though. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. I, I, I don't know, man. The only experience that I had with the cube, I read about it and I decided this is bullshit and then <laughs> I, I actually wanted it. I hooked up with this girl and she told me like oh do you want to like hear this cool game that my friend <laughs> told me and i was like what is it oh so imagine you're in like some island it's like she did the cube on me because uh, some guy had told her about it and she thought it was really fun i had that happen once too did you i think these these, these principles were being used a lot more back in the day yeah they probably were the mystery stuff and i'm sure like you know it comes like the mystery method works in a certain way but it's still kind of weird it's not optimized. It's still like the problem with Mr. Man, it's just weird, man. It's just <laughs> weirds people out sometimes if you do it wrong. Well, if you look at if you look at Mystery himself, he topped off at age fifty in the low three hundred count. Yeah. It's yeah. not all about late count, but it's a good general objective measure of skill. Yeah. And I was able to do between July twenty seventeen and twenty eighteen of July. Yeah. Uh two forty three new. So yeah. that's like almost Mystery's entire lifetime count. Yeah. But a lot, in a lot of ways, Mystery failed to evolve. He's stuck in 2006. He's using a lot of principles that yeah, I think so, man. suboptimal. There's and, a lot of really good stuff, but there's a lot of suboptimal stuff yeah. as well. Yeah. And it's just like, man, like how is some guy who works in a fucking tech company, uh, <laughs> nine to five, how is he going to wear plateau shoes? And a fucking <laughs> pink boa and a top hat in the weekends and go out and pick up girls. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, so, yeah. but then I read your shit and I was like, okay, this is kind of like mystery method, but I look at the pull script and I'm like, okay, well, it's not weird. All this shit is stuff that I could have said, I guess. It, like, it doesn't, none of it's weird. Yeah. But does it really work? And I tried it and it works. Almost, like, almost every time I try to use it, it's like, oh, the girl says yes. Mm hmm. It's, yeah, because it, it's it was really like that. A lot of that stuff came from a scientific method of testing, where it was, let's see what we think makes the most sense to do, and let's try it, and then let's constantly try split tests or alternative um, methods or yeah lines, so to speak, and then see which wins out in the form of success in the yeah. form of results. And so, a lot of this stuff in the product is a result of years of evolution and optimization and split testing. So almost every time I, I fuck up in a set, it's almost always because I do something that you tell, like you say in the product not to do. Like <laughs> I, I hope I'll wait or I'll like see a girl and I wait around yeah. before approaching. It's hard. And it's hard to beat that one permanently. It's really tough. It's hard. And then obviously sometimes there's like external reasons and there's reasons that I don't I have no control over. Maybe she doesn't like that. Even so, at like uh, a 989 current, and it wasn't like that about a week ago. It was like 985 or something. And yeah. there was like a hot chick at the gym, like nice sculpted abs, like uh, hard nipples in her fucking sports bra, like yeah. perfect ass. And she was like looking at me a bunch, like while I was doing different exercises. And she kept, we kept like meeting eyes. And like sometimes I would look away. But there was a few times where I was like, fuck this. And I just like stared her down back. And we were like holding eye contact for like 15, 20 seconds. And I was like, okay, like this is, this is on, even though we haven't said a word to each other. And I was like, all right, I need to talk to her. But then there was like guys that were near her that were like looking at me and shit. I'm like, well, I don't want these guys to hear. And then in my mind, I had to re like remind myself, like who gives a fuck about these guys? I don't give a shit if they listen to the whole conversation. And yeah. so I forced myself to go in, but there was still like that inherent fear, even at, at almost a thousand girls. That's just like, pre-wired into us yeah and so i forced myself to go in went great got her number and then she like she ha wasn't wearing headphones at the time but then she like within five minutes put on headphones and went on the treadmill and like if i had hesitated or waited a little bit longer i would have missed the window yeah because then once she's on the treadmill with the headphones it's like a fucking awkward and it's always like because you, if you wait you you still want to go and you know where she is. It's like she's on your like minimap. If you're like playing a computer game, yeah. it's like she's like marked on your minimap. <laughs> so your eyes just keep going, and she notices. So you do that, and you go up, and you come across as a loser, <laughs> and she doesn't like it. And you just have it's just it's not impossible, but it's just way harder. Yeah. So this was like a college level Ukrainian chick. Like, nice. So I, we talked about how I lived in Kiev, blah blah. blah and she doesn't like Ukraine. She's like happy to be in Poland, but. That goes to show, like, you, you just fucking make the move. But, um, 
Yeah, going back to the product thing. So, um, me and my friend here, we, we talked to a guy that was texting me. He got early access to the Leads Machine product, which I'm releasing in about a month. The pre-sale will start officially in about a week. And um, he said his meetup rate has increased by like four times, by like 400%. And he was already getting a lot of meetups before. There's another guy that's, he said he's at like 185 right now. Count. Um, so point being, there is a method to, to the madness. This shit does work. I don't want to make this too long a video because we're like going to hit the club. <laughs> I, want to, I want to say one more thing too. And it's like, because what, what I liked is, because you, you made the, you made the, uh, uh, what is it called? Allegory or like you, you talked about how your, product or what your philosophy kind of mimics that of Wolf of Wall Street, mm -hmm. like his sales pitch. Jordan Belfort's straight line. Yeah. And I've seen, I, watched, I used to work in sales and I watched straight line conversation and I remember one of the sales jobs that I had, my boss just gave me, he gave me a script. He's like, dude, just follow the script, just follow the script, follow the script exactly for two weeks. Just don't say any words that are not <laughs> written in the script. Just say exactly this, mm -hmm. and then after two weeks, you're allowed to make like small modifications that fit kind of your personality and your style. And that too is just work. He, they had a script that would it wouldn't work every time. Obviously, it wouldn't work. Nothing works every time. But it worked a high percentage of the time and high enough that you made real good money. And then every salesman would like make tiny changes to fit her, his or her personality better. Um, and that's how I feel about the stuff that you teach to us. It's just like, oh, here's the script. It works. Just do the shit. It works. It doesn't, it doesn't feel unpersonal and weird to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, it feels like something that any normal person would do. Um, but you can still make personal changes to it that make it more effective for you as well after you kind of understand the method yeah. to the madness. Yeah, like uh, Mr. Mr. said at one point that he feels like he's 10 steps ahead of the competition. Like everything's moving in slow motion, like Neo from the matrix or something. So like a guy like myself, I've been through these situations a million times and I can extract inductively heuristics from the data set. And then I know it's, <laughs> it's a really nerdy explanation. <laughs> like I know, I know like this, the types of groups of what's coming. And so I tell guys what to say. And then when the, such and such situation happens, you do this. When this situation happens, you do this. That's not compromising your um, core personality or your congruence or whatever. Like social prime is all again, again, like super against. They say like pickup is not a skill game. No strategy or tactics are beneficial. Patently absurd, patently false. Um, and I'll put out a video explain it. It's, it's, it's very common sensely false. I, I told Chris Wilde who on social prime when we were talking for like five hours about his method on my balcony last month. Like try yelling down a hundred times to a girl on the street, hey bitch, give me your number, versus doing a proper approach and getting the number. You're gonna have a, a lot better results for getting the number in one case. Then, what, no matter how you got the number, texting a hundred different girls, whatever the fuck you feel like, maybe something extremely overt and and rude, like hey, mm. hey bitch, let's meet up or something like that, versus proper text sequences and objective handling over text. You're gonna get a lot more meetups in, in one case than the other. So to say that this is not a skill game, to say that no strategy matters at all, is completely absurd and completely ridiculous, and, and should be yeah, laughed out of the. Sense. And you have all these guys subscribing to this and getting destroyed in the field. And these, these social, the new wave social prime guys are like the new the new wave um, breed of misfits, virus D misfits, where they're just going up to girls and saying ridiculous shit, but it's coming from a place of honesty. And the girls are really creeped out and weirded out and it's blowing out the set and they're not getting results, of course. But the point is, um, like with these scripts and, and these different situations that I know are coming, I can instruct guys just as they do in Wolf of Wall Street. When you try to sell them on a stock, they're going to say, let me think about it. Let me check with my wife. Yeah. Um, what is your credibility? What is blah, blah, blah. And, and you know what's happening and how to deal with these things. So it's, it's the same with game. So <clears throat> that being said, any last thoughts? We gotta, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit the club and then the yeah, strip club. Go out. And you're club. you're I'm flying out tomorrow. Fun, yeah, going home. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, no, I just want to tell everyone to that I recommend to buy John's program. Uh, if you're looking to buy something, this is the best. And uh, I actually hadn't met John until a couple of days ago, 
and uh, <laughs> well, we, well, we talked a bunch of, online for years. We talked, yeah, we talked a while, and we had like we had a bunch of friends in common and shit, but. But yeah, so and just from one night of going out, I can only I've met a lot of the guys that people really idolize in game, uh, and a lot of them are really good. Um, but I want to say that John's at least as good as all those guys. So combined, yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I I want to say like I, I know a lot of people don't because um, because your marketing is not as endpoint as R D and shit, so it doesn't look as professional probably, but. I just got hit up by a guy today that has like a 500,000 Instagram following. That's a huge fan. He's nice. like, I want to dish lots of my subscribers to you and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So hopefully, and I'm gonna, I might hire this other guy that thinks he can get my channel over 10,000 in like three months. Sick. So there's, you know, there's things yeah. in the works. I'm going through some YouTube courses, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, I also want to recommend everyone to so just look at your... If you have if you have someone you're following, just take a step back and, and look at it and be like, okay, um, is this potentially okay? You can probably learn like for every pickup coach that sucks, you can probably learn <laughs> something from them. Every like everyone has something to teach and everyone has something to learn. What can you learn from Chris Parker? So I don't know. I've never met him, so I don't follow him that much. But I don't know, man. Like he's he seems to bang a bunch of chicks, so there's probably something to pick up from there. Um, I don't know. One of the other guys that I've I, know, I haven't really game with him myself, but I know a lot of people that have that says he's really good. So um, that's because he took two programs with me. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's actually not that great, but okay. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I I, I don't know. I just have this philosophy that everyone has something. Like, even like the biggest show has something. Like something to teach you. Like there's every person. If you look for what to teach, but except for Tyler Durden, <laughs> only exception. Fair enough. Fair enough. But. But yeah, so just take it. Even even if you just follow some guy, just take a step back, see if there's something else. There's a lot of there's a lot of cults of personality in pickup that I don't really like. I don't really subscribe to that. Um, your mentor is not infallible. That goes for everyone. So just make sure you consider that. Like the Pope. Like the Pope. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Lead Machine release is coming in one week. Uh, the site is being finished now. I will put out a video about that when it's ready. And I will put out a separate video. Um, there's going to be a new 10-day immersion at the end of February in Vegas. Um, but I'll put out a separate video about that announcing it. So thank you for tuning in. Take care.